Hello, this is Russell Thomas, Kilo Victor 4 Sierra, KV4S. Uh, today I want to show setting up the AMCOM DMR network with a DV switch uh, server, which is like a hotspot in the cloud, uh, so to speak. Uh, so let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is um, pull up the AMCOM website, 3101.amcom.network. And uh, these links at the top uh, use the self-service and uh, you'll see a page like this. So uh, we're utilizing the DMR network options, which is their, which is how they're showing this for PyStar, but it's essentially the same for DV switch server. But there are a few menus we need to go through to set this up and I will show those now. When you log into your DV switch over terminal, uh, this is the first thing you'll see. And uh, you just type DVS, and that brings up the DV switch setup menu. I've already set my node up, so um, I've already got my call sign and initial configuration set up. So we're just specifically focusing on what you need to do inside of DV switch to connect to AMCOM and then uh, configure static talk groups. And static talk groups simply means that they're always alive on your on your connection. So if you leave it for a couple of days, come back, uh, you should still hear those talk groups on your on your uh, DV switch server. So um, the first thing you want to look into is actually connecting to uh, AMCOM. That's done in option two, and then. 24 which is additional DMR networks um, configure your DMR server and in here I believe the defaults was Brandmeister network and DMR plus and uh, I've added these last few on the screen uh, I've already added AMCOM but if you were to add it uh, you'll get the option as you go through the setup to uh, to make it your default network and then you can also change these on the fly via the DV switch front end uh, menus. So um, this is what an AMCOM setup looks like. Uh, you will actually enter these values uh, except for the last one uh, by hand. Uh, I gave it the name AMCOM. You can name it whatever you want. That doesn't um, uh, apply to the server that's just what you call it in the DB switch application and when you see it on the screen uh, the server address you'll enter your MCOM master in my case I'm entering 3101.mcom.network password is just password with a zero as the O and uh, USRP port was already filled in I left at the default of 62031 after I saved my settings, it asked me to make this my default, which I did, and that's where we are at this point in the setup. Now you go back for the static talk groups, uh, just hit back until you're um, all the way to the main menu. Uh, the settings we need for DMR uh, static options is under tools, and then option 32, the second option on this screen, is configure the INI files. Uh, this is related to DMR Digital, so uh, we're not going to use Analog Bridge, and we're not going to use the other INI files that talk about the mode. Uh, DMR is under MMDVM Bridge, so I'm going to enter there. And uh, you can see that it already filled in the information I typed in in these first few sections so we want to scroll all the way down to where DMR network is defined uh, this is DMR but only for enabling the mode and the initial connection options not the network the network settings are further down toward the bottom here we go DMR network it's also enabled here these are the uh, fields I filled in on the setup screen what we're doing is overriding the options 
and you can see that in blue here a pound sign means it's not looking at these options at the time the program runs so I simply copied the line took the pound sign off and then uh, based on the AMCOM screen self-service screen behind it I entered pass equals and I gave it a default pass or not a default I gave it a password you can make this anything you want uh, I believe it has to be six characters or six digits e any kind of mix and match as long as it's six uh, for this example, um, I'm just showing you ABC123. This is not what I use in production, but uh, for the demo, that's what I've put in. So pretty simple. You just type it in. Uh, options equals pass, all capital equals, and then your password. So um, I recommend uh, when you save this, you uh, saving it, you do control and then it will prompt at the bottom of that black screen to save and you're going to hit Y and since I didn't make any changes it just went straight back here when you're back here uh, go to the back screen one time and go down to option 37 to reboot the Raspberry Pi when it does that or the server itself um, when it does that you, you need to give it probably 60 seconds to a minute and, or so to um, reconnect to AMCOM and uh, for the self-service to see the server online so uh, we're going to give it some time all right now I'm just going to log in with what I set the password to All right, I have no time slots to find, so I'm going to put some in here. 3101, Alabama Statewide, 31010, Alabama Link, 31013, the Alert Group. And save changes. It's going to apply. And it says it's done. Now when I log in, it shows that I've already got these in here. I can add to them and remove them and save it, all that good stuff. And that's it. You're set up to have static talk groups on your DV Switch server. And uh, you can use it like a remote hotspot at this point. Good luck and let us know if you have any questions. Again, this is Russell Thomas, KV4S73.